the sound heart. يعني is the, is the heart which is full of iman. يعني there is iman in the heart. And it worship Allah. The heart itself by loving Allah, fearing Allah, trusting Allah, relying on Allah. You are, you have a sound heart. Your motivation for your action and deeds coming from the faith, the iman in your heart. This is the sound heart. So when you find some way for obeying, obeying Allah, you are running to it. You want to please Allah. Your main goal is to fulfill your duty towards Him. And because of this, your heart is created and you are created for this. As Imam Ibn Taymiyyah said, the only happiness, the only happiness in this dunya when the heart knows his Rabb. And you, you, are, you, have, you will have the great peace and happiness in this dunya. You are related, you have a relation with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Nothing will bother you. No fear, no doubts, no hesitation, no depression. Even if you are in a very hardship, still you have something that keeps you, keeps you alive because your relation with the Creator, subhanahu wa ta'ala. So the sound heart is always attached to Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala. Some of these signs, Imam Ibn al-Qayyim al juziya Ibn al-Qayyim, he mentioned them. Look to these signs of the sound heart. Number one, the person considers himself to belong to the next world. Yani, you are aware of the reality that we belong to the next life. And you are working for this. The person feels that he is a stranger in this world and cannot wait to reach his abode in the hereafter. This is a high level of purity. Yani, there is some sort of detachment between yourself and this world. We are sure that we are not here permanent. Our working, our effort is for the next life. This is the purified heart. Also, the purified heart tries almost to be away from disobeying Allah. And if he commits a sin, he becomes very upset with himself. Any time he commits a sin until he finally and completely <coughs> repents to Allah. This is one of the characters of the sound heart. You may commit a sin, Sahih, because all of us have shortage, uh, all of us have defects, but the believer with a sound heart, he will rapidly repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And he will feel sorry for what he had done. He will return back to the street path. He will do his best to cover any defect in his duties towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yani the matters of the obligations which Allah ordered us to do. The salah, siyam, zakah, al-hajj, al-umrah, salat al-fajr. You try to do even the nawafil, sunan, to pray at night, to fast more than Ramadan. <clears throat> you wish to go to Umrah and Hajj. You are running. Running for what? Not running to get a mortgage, to get a house. Not running to for a bargain in a supermarket where you find... Wallah, I was wondering, once they said in the TV... This uh, shop will open uh, six o'clock and he will make a huge discount. Then they said people from 3 a.m. They are queuing to get these <laughs> goods. Have you seen this? 
لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله. Imagine if those people think about the akhirah in the same way. The man who st stood up for three, four hours at night waiting for the shop to open just to get a discount instead of buying a, a TV 500 pounds, he will get it with 100 pounds. You as a Muslim with your heart full of loving Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loving Al-Jannah we want Al-Jannah Jannah, fill your heart with loving al Jannah. So, if you are asked to travel to Mecca, to sleep in the desert in Muzdalifa without anything, and to walk a few miles between Arafat to Mina to Muzdalifa, and you took off all your clothes, you will be very happy if you have a sound heart. You will not be frustrated. You will not be complaining. You are doing what Allah wants you to do. Slavery. Slavery is the best thing to show that you are a slave to him. Alone. You are overcoming your desires, your lusts. Because if we leave ourselves to ourselves, I want to sleep very comfortably on my bed <laughs> with my wife. Why should I travel all of this and spend 3,000, 4,000 for Umrah or for Hajj? Why should I stand up at night to make wudu and uh, alone in uh, a room? Yeah. Why should I come for circles here? You may be a driver, a car, a black driver, you can get 100 pounds for this hour or two hours. Yeah. You can be an IT engineering and you can... So you may think, yeah. But if you are a believer, you know for sure that every moment you are trading with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you are the winner. We are very clever. We are very clever. The Muslimin the pious. The only trade you can imagine, you will get 100%. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says every hasana with 10 to 100 to 700 to multiple and multiple. Nobody knows. Every hasana is multiplied to 700 hasana. So, it is a real issue that it's worth, it's worth to learn how to please him, to learn how to be on the straight path, to keep and protect this Iman in your heart. The sound heart may be attacked by the shayateen, by your soul, desires and your lust by many issues in this dunya, in this world. And the sound heart will turn, in this case, from being sound to be a diseased heart. The sound heart is very happy when you worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When you are reminded by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you will feel this. 